This is Pink Floyd's The Wall, and it's really important to me because um, it's always kind of been there. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, whenever I was sad or wanted to just get away from reality, I'd go listen to it. This piece of media is the book, The Things They Carried, and it's important to me because I feel like it has some really powerful messages. This is Kendrick Lamar's latest album. To, uh, it's called To Pimp a Butterfly, and um, to me, it's like a social commentary sort of of the urban culture in 2015. It is in the Heights, and it's important to me because I think that it's a really, 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 really great musical. And um, when I was in it, it was sort of my first part that had like solos and lines. So this piece of media that I brought in is Mario Kart 64, which was a video game for the Nintendo 64. And it's important to me because it brings back a lot of memories. Um, I think I got a Nintendo 64 when I was in middle school. This media that I have is a book by Shirley Jackson called We Have Always Lived in the Castle. And it's important to me because I read it when I was in middle school, when I was feeling kind of alone and outcast, and it helped me realize there are other loners and outcasts in the world too. Well, this is a DVD copy of the movie Pulp Fiction, and it's one of my all-time favorite movies. And it was uh, a movie that I watched at kind of a, a key point in my life. It was right after college graduation, and um, it's one of the first movies I saw in, in my own apartment on my own entertainment system. It makes me feel different than everything else would. It's like an alternate like, perspective of life right now. So, a um, way of getting you to look outside the box. I guess in a way it makes me feel uh, safe. Something that music that is definitely relaxing to me. I'm able to just um, listen to it and all my cares kind of go away. It's kind of, I don't know, that sounds cheesy, but I mean, it's uh, something that just means a lot to me. The first time I played this, I remember being really excited. Um, this was kind of a, I guess you would almost call it like a party game. Like you would get together with a bunch of people and you would all um, you know, play together at the same time. It was, you know, four uh, on one screen. It definitely still makes me nostalgic. Anytime I play it, I get really, really excited and childlike. So every time I listen to the soundtrack all the way through, by the time it gets to like the closing song, I've cried a solid like three times. Um, so it makes me like really nostalgic, but it also makes me really happy because the music is so good and I have a lot of good memories associated with it and the storyline is just really amazing. When I watched it for the first time, uh, it, it's a very intricate movie and so I found myself getting very wrapped up in, in the plot and kind of impressed with the overall mood of the movie. I feel kind of somber. Uh, it's something that makes you think pretty deeply about what's written down since a lot of the book is written like poetry. Uh, it's a little dark and it makes me feel now a little embarrassed of that like I was so weird when I was in middle school but it's it, it mostly the memories are good. It's very psychological I can even show you the artwork in here um, kind of like about this guy and his life is in shambles and the wall kind of represents this defense that he's building mentally. So it's just so amazing. This story is like so crazy, it makes you think. It is the kind of movie that uh, sort of has, it sort of folds back in on itself. It's got a lot of references at various points in the movie to other points in the movie. And so it becomes kind of like a game, uh, looking for those references and finding things that maybe you didn't find before. That's one thing I think about is, what am I gonna notice this time? I've played other racing games, you know, since this came out, and there's something about this that I just, I love it so much, it's so perfect. I remember playing this in, even in college too, so it lasted like a long time, it was still fun like years later, so. It makes me think about people who are, not necessarily outcasts, but living outside of the norm, um, doing things their own way, marching to the beat of their own drummer, I feel like this album kind of makes you think that society is going in like a wrong direction sort of and things are like a cycle and you can break the cycle if you choose to. It makes me think along the lines of there's not really the polls good or bad or that sort of thing. There's always a lot of different 
things in between, different shades in between, and that's something that I've taken with me. When I'm listening to the recording, it's like the Broadway cast recording, you know, so I mean everyone on it is really, really talented, and it makes me think, wow, I hope I can be this good someday, um, and it inspires me, and it makes me think, what a great guy Lin-Manuel Miranda is.